Well, hello. Um, I want to tell you something exciting about uh, something new that we discovered at the Max Planck for Astronomy here in Heidelberg. Um, and to, sh to explain to you how, how, the, how we got to this point, you need to know one thing first. Um, we know that galaxies have very big, supermassive black holes in their center. Um, and the best known example of that is the supermassive black hole in the center of our Milky Way. The black hole in the, in the center of our Milky Way has a mass of four million suns. So how do we know that? How do we know that, that there's such a big black hole? Well, we can actually see the stars going around the, the center of the Milky Way. And we don't see anything in the middle, but we can see it going around. So we can measure the, the black hole masses in other galaxies as well by tracking how fast the stars move near, the center, near their centers. And one of the, the things that has been long been known about this is that the, the black holes in the, in, the, in the center of these galaxies typically weigh about 0.1% of the total galaxy. And we don't really understand how this happens or why this is, um, but it's always around roughly like 1.1% of, of, the, of the galaxy itself. And we're actively trying to, we've only measured about 100 black hole masses so far, and we're actively trying to actually find more of these systems in which you can measure the black hole masses. And so why is this so difficult? Well, it's so difficult because you actually need to see the stars move near the, near the black hole. And the Milky Way center is very close, so we can see the individual stars uh, near them. But for other galaxies, we can only see the biggest black holes out to a distance of about 200 million light years. And that's just because otherwise the galaxy becomes too small and you can't see those, the, the stars move around near the center anymore. And so you really need to figure out which galaxies are close enough that you can do this experiment on to actually measure that black hole mass. And so we started a large survey on the, on the Hobie Everly Telescope out in West Texas uh, to actually find the nearby galaxies for which we could do this experiment. And we observed something like 700 galaxies through this experiment to find near enough galaxies to, to, to do this. And we found a couple of very, very interesting galaxies um, that are very small, but in the stars move very, very fast in them. Um, so fast that we, at first, didn't really believe that this was really possible. The stars move at like an average speed of like 400 kilometers per second. Um, and obviously the, the question was like, well, do these stars move so fast because there's a big black hole? And so we, we did the we, we did this the experiment, we did the, the modeling of these of, of the system, like to figure out what the mass distribution was in this in this galaxy. And we measured that the black hole in, in this one system that we did the detailed study for was 17 billion solar masses, whereas the galaxy itself only weighed uh, 100 billion solar masses. So the, the black hole in this system is one of the biggest ones ever found. But it also weighs about 15% of the whole galaxy. So like more than one tenth of all the mass in the system is in the black hole. Um, and this was, this is, was extraordinary. We, we, we spent a long time trying to figure out if we actually believed this result and if, if, if whether or not we did something wrong somewhere. But then we checked and we used different instruments to measure the same thing. And we saw, yeah, again, all, it'll, it'll, the same answer always came out. Um, and so we have this, this one galaxy in which we have a, one of the biggest black holes ever in a very, very small galaxy, whereas from all the previous work that we've done, we know that a galaxy typically, the black hole weighs about 0.1% of the, of the total mass. So what is next? We want to know if this galaxy is a freak or if um, there's many other ones out there like it. In our, in our current understanding of galaxy evolutions, the black hole and the galaxy grow up together. But if there's many of these galaxies with really, really big black holes, then that changes the picture. The, the main reason why this is so interesting is that we always thought that the black hole and the, and the galaxy were very strongly correlated with each other and they, they interacted with each other somehow. But if there's galaxies in which that doesn't happen, that tells us that somehow the black holes and the, and the galaxies are sort of growing uh, independently of each other. Um, and we'll hopefully we'll, we'll figure out how this works in the future.